Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. As you can see, I am setting up to do some magnetic canvas hearts. Now, I have a link to these, I believe. No, I don't, but I will. I will have a link to these below in the description. I was buying them at Hobby Lobby and they were $5.99 for a three pack. You get the 40% off, but it's still kind of, you know, a little bit for three little mag. They're not little. They're six by six inches for three magnets. But I found a 24 pack on Amazon for, I think, $15. So that is a much better savings. So I will have that link below. Um, you have to make sure you tape off the backs extremely well you need to burnish them if you don't know what burnish means get something flat and hard and rub it really really hard on the back of these because you have to protect the back now if you get a little bit of resin staining on the back you know i will show you what that looks like it is absolutely okay they will stick perfectly okay so here is some resin staining see how it just kind of stained it they will make contact and be fine there's a part right here in the middle a lot of times for some reason you will get a tiny little nib of resin right there and it prevents the heart from making contact so if you do buy these and you seal you tape off the back good and it doesn't make contact with the refrigerator keeps falling off it is because there is a little nib right here all you have to do is heat up your razor knife with your heat gun and it'll slice right off and then they make perfect contact um as you can see here no matter how good you tape it, you're going to get this staining. But as long as there are no chunks of resin hanging over, it'll make full contact and you'll be fine. So for my hearts today, what I'm doing is using some Valentine's paper that I have. This is scrapbook paper. Very pretty. And what I did was I cut it out to the shape. I traced the heart on the shape. I traced the heart on the paper, cut it out, and then I used some Elmer's Craft Bond. I sprayed the entire heart really good with this and then stuck the paper on there and let it dry. These little ones here, I have a little heart punch and I punched them out and then just glued them each on by hand with regular Elmer school glue. So my plan is is to use a few reds, white and clear along with some glitters. I think they're going to look really pretty. These things sell like crazy for me. So I'm making a bunch for Valentine's Day. If you see any that you're interested in that I make in this video or in my upcoming art for sale video, you can just contact me at artbytammyyahoo.com. All right, but for now, let me mix up the resin and I'll be right back. Okay, so here come all the pretty colors. Now, this is an alcohol ink. It's a magenta color made by... Bria Reese. They sell it at Hobby Lobby. This is some Angel White epoxy paste from Lorez. This is Black Cherry epoxy paste by Lorez. Transparent, meaning you can see through. See through the color. This is Red Raspberry by Resin Art. It's a tint which is see-through. They're very close in color, all these colors. 
because obviously I'm going for a Valentine's Day theme. And then this is the Sassy Red, the reddest red you have ever probably seen. <laughs> That's that hot red. Okay? That's by Lorez also. Uh, the only one I'm going to be doing in pink tones is going to be this one. And with that, I'm going to use some of Laura's Art Corner Raspberry Jewel Glass Glitter. It's a super shard, very big flakes. And with the red one, I'm going to be using Fantasy Red, which is also a super shard, very big flake. I may, you know what, I'm going to mix up some gold. So bear with me one second. Here, I just need a little tiny gold. Because I think gold just belongs with red. Either gold or silver you could do. But you guys know I like to go streaking. And I got a streak with some gold tonight. And this is going to be, I'm going to use Molten Gold by Lores. So here we go. Mix this up really quick like show it to you and then we will be good to go I actually need to get more of that I apologize for the delay I had to take a glove off for a second okay here we go this stuff mixes in like a dream. These epoxy pastes by Lorez. Always make sure you scrape the stick to get any paste off of the stick that didn't go into the resin. And there is the molten gold. Okay? So first thing I want to do is put down some clear, especially on these two because I want to keep these areas somewhat visible when it's all said and done. So, same with this piece. I'm just gonna cover the whole thing in clear. I love the pattern of that paper. It is pretty swanky. Okay, so I'm gonna use, try to do this with my left hand because my right hand is dirty. I'm just kind of working it up to the edge there. That's it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. These are very, very fun to do. These little hearts, they're just very relaxing. And then if you use a resin, it has a long working time. For example, I'm using stone coat and I'll get at least 45 minutes out of that resin. You know, you could just take your time and relax and enjoy it and not feel rushed. And still, um, I contacted them and they did 
answer me, and I'm just waiting to hear back about a code, so that will be good if we could get a discount code on this channel for their resin. I actually love it. Okay. So now that that is done, I wasn't prepared. I forgot to take out my alcohol wipe, so I had to take my gloves off. I'm going to see if I can be careful here, but I, you know, I may have to tilt them, so I better put on another pair. Always have a rag with some alcohol on to clean your gloves, so you don't have to waste gloves. They are expensive. Okay. So here we go. Let's see. My objective is, is to have some of this showing, this heart, and to have this center done, showing through. This, it is what it is, whatever happens happens so let me start with that one I'm gonna do some uh, puddle pours here with this one Oh, I have some unmixed there. Dang it. These tints, you've got to really mix these in good. They don't mix in as easily, I've noticed. You want to see something that would look beautiful? I'll show you right now. I love doing this. You take some gold. Take some gold. And then you pour a transparent color on top of it. Look at that. Let me zoom in on that for you. You see how pretty that looks? It almost illuminates from the uh, gold being underneath it. I love to do that. I'm going to take some white and streak it through here. Try to cover up some of that unmixed color there. It doesn't look the same if you put it on top of a transparent. You have to put the transparent on top of the gold. Oh, I'm going to follow through with this because I got to use it up. I 
Okay. So that one. Now we're going to go for this one here. With these hearts, I find that a majority of the design comes after I move it around and the colors have blended. Then I get in there and do what I want to do as far as design goes. I made a heart for you guys. <laughs> uh, fifth grader could have did better than that, but it is what it is. All right now, this is the Black Cherry by Larez. which I think I'm going to put on top of a gold again. Do this. And I'm not worried about my hearts because I'm going to be blowing this around, adding some clear, so they'll be fine. And then a little bit, yeah, go right here. All right. Time for the gloves and some heat. Before I do that though, let's put a little bit of clear right up that center there. You'll see it'll push it to the sides, the color. Okay.
And I start off by moving it first, just a little bit. And then I will come back in and do whatever designs, tilting, all that. First I just move it though. This one over here has a piece of pigment I didn't mix. Now, let's see here. This one first. Oh, I love that center. Love it. Love it. Love it. That's going to be a pretty one. Stay. Now this one here, I have a little piece of uh, gold. I'm at the bottom of my jar, so I just grabbed it quick and didn't mix it good. So that's what that is. I have to watch this because uh, it's moving, so... Don't want to lose my design. And I have to blow it out a little bit more here. This is just the first pass. Pass. It's just the first pass, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so now's where the fun comes in. So I'm going to take some clear. I am first going to get my hearts back poking out here. Here I want to open up. See how nicely that opened up? Just by using the clear. This I could tell is going to be gorgeous when it's done. And that makes me excited. What doesn't make me excited is that I am out of clear. <clears throat> this look like a little cool a little bit of haziness going over them maybe I'll leave them alone All right this one here I am not happy with so Sorry about that. My uh, husband is home moving the garbage can. So 
I'm going to work on this one here first. More gold. Hate to see what this heart looks like from my view. <laughs> Looks like a nice set up, nice rack. I'll I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Keep it clean. That's funny. Let's get rid of that image ASAP, huh? <laughs> I need to move this away from the others. So let me take these out of the way for now. Do one at a time because I don't want the heat to get on that and move that even more on me. I like these the way they are so far. Okay. So now for this, I am going to take some gold. And you know what time it is. It's time to go streaking. Oh yeah, that's making a sexy heart. And then, right in the center of it, where's my glitter? Actually, nah, yeah, let me do it now. Let's see here. No, I can't do this with gloves on. Hold on. Sorry. Sorry. I just need to get a little bit right in this area here. I'm going to drop it there, and then I'm going to do another gold line around it to make it make sense.
So right there. That's it. That's it for that one. You don't need to have over, it doesn't need to be overkill. You can, uh, Just add a little bit, because it need to be a lot. Okay, that one, done. So now, I'm gonna move it. This one here. Next up. This one here may be the two layer. Maybe. Okay. that one over I'm gonna let it thicken up a little bit and then I'm gonna scrape back a little bit where that heart is covered I just don't want to mess with it right now because uh, I just want to leave it for now it's just gonna keep moving so Yeah, I like that. I'm just going to quit while I'm ahead. I'm going to get my red glitter now. This one, I'm not doing glitter. This one here, I'm thinking... Maybe right in this area. What I have to do once this cures is I have to put a clear coat to see to seal the top in. So it's gonna look really cool. It's gonna be like 3D looking. Uh, I'll put some here too. What the hell? Why not?
It's almost like a geode. Another good thing to do is to wait for the resin to cure and then put the glitter on with a coat of clear because the glitter is heavy so it's going to sink. So I'm using a lot right now when I really don't need to be doing that. I could have just waited but for demonstration purposes, you know, I just want to do it so you guys can see kind of what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to put some more here again. And then I'm going to hopefully have just enough gold to go around this area here. I'm going to branch off from this little piece of gold and come up into that like so all done guys Take you down and give you a close-up. I love making these. You can be free. You can be creative. You can add whatever you want into them. They're just a lot of fun. So here is the pink one. I'm sorry, the light's going to be there no matter what I do because of where I have it. So there's the pink one. And here are the red ones to be stunning. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed your time with me. If you have any questions, please leave them below. If you liked the video, please click the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. And I hope you all have a great night. Happy pouring.